Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to see a quick introduction to Linux. First of all, let us see what Linux is. First of all, Linux is an operating system and just as any other operating system, Linux acts as a link between the machine and the user. It is a medium of interaction between the two. Next, Linux is a kernel. A kernel is a computer program that is the core of a computer's operating system. In other words, it is an intermediary between software and hardware. We will learn more about the kernel in the upcoming video lectures. When we talk about a Linux system, we mean that we are talking about the kernel plus system utilities and libraries and other management scripts and installation scripts. In other words, a Linux system consists of the kernel plus additional softwares installed. A Linux system is also known as a Linux distribution. Linux is a free and open source software which means anyone can create, copy or modify the source code of the operating system. Today, thousands of people have made improvements to Linux due to its open source nature. Next, let us see about Linux distributions. A Linux distribution comprises of the Linux kernel plus some additional softwares. Each distribution has its own goals and focus. Let us see some of the examples of the Linux distributions. Fedora, Ubuntu, Debian, SUSE Linux, Enterprise Server, OpenSUSE. These are some popular Linux distributions. There are many more distributions available and these are the most popular ones. Beginners are often confused between Linux and Unix, so let us make it clear. First of all, Linux and Unix are not the same. Unix operating system was developed in 80 and 80 Bell and it is a copyrighted name. Linux is a Unix clone written from scratch by Linus Torvalds with assistance from a loosely knit team of hackers across the net. There are some common things between Linux and Unix. The GUI file, Windows managers, shells, various office applications, development tools and interface. Now let us see why should we use the Linux operating system. Linux is a free and open source. So you can see the source code used to create Linux. You can check the code to locate bugs, explore security vulnerabilities or simply study what the code is doing on your machine. In Linux, you can modify a system or program configuration file and effect the changes without rebooting the server, which is not the case with Windows. It also offers efficient and reliable mechanisms of process management. Linux is without doubt the most secure kernel out there, making Linux op based operating systems secure and suitable for servers. Linux is very powerful and flexible. You can tune it to meet your server needs. Linux has a rock solid support for mix of computer architectures on both modern and moderately old hardware. This is one of the most significant factors that makes Linux better than Windows for servers. With this, we come to an end of this introductory lecture on Unix. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.